Hello, my name is Lisa Aguirre, and I'm a certified focal point business coach. And today I'm going to talk to you about the conscientious employee and why being conscientious is the number one predictor of workplace success. A study proves that personality traits of conscientiousness is really a cradle-to-grave attribute. People who are conscientious tend to get better grades in high school and college. They commit fewer crimes. They stayed married longer. This is all because conscientious people see themselves as part of a greater whole. Conscientiousness is emerging as one of the primary dimensions of successful functioning across the lifespan, according to Paul Tro, who is author of How Children Succeed. In a conscientious study performed by the National Institute of Mental Health, there's a staggering amount of research linking conscientiousness with success. This study found that conscientious people earn higher salaries, live longer, smoke and drink less, have fewer strokes, have lower blood pressure, and have lower incidence of dementia. This is because conscientious people see themselves as part of a bigger whole and they tend to take care of themselves and engage in healthy, life-sustaining activities. These traits and behaviors also correlate to the workplace. How do you know if you're conscientious? Conscientious people tend to be super organized, responsible, and they plan ahead. They work hard in the face of challenges and can control their impulses. They display a strong work ethic. Not only do they have the will to succeed, they have the will to prepare to win. This means they're willing to put in the long hours of behind-the-scenes work required for success. Psychologists classify conscientiousness as one of the big five personality traits, with the others being agreeableness, extroversion, neuroticism, and openness to experience. The other traits can predict certain workplace outcomes as well. For example, extroversion is a great fit for highly social gigs like sales. And openness is important to experience, uh, often leads to jobs that require creativity. But consciousness is remarkable for the way it cuts across many different roles. Research shows that arriving on time, doing thorough work, and being thoughtful to your colleagues helps people regardless of their job function or workplace situation. Being on top of deadlines is almost universally a good thing, one industrial psychologist said in the study. Conscientious people have the ability to overcome failure, which means they are not afraid to fail. Those who are not afraid to fail are more willing to take risks. Moreover, within conscientiousness, are the narrower traits of self-control and grit, which University of Pennsylvania psychologist Angela Duckworth has found to be more integral to people's success than IQ. Highly conscientious employees do a series of things better than the rest of the employees, says University of Illinois psychologist Brent Roberts who studies conscientiousness and contributed to the conscientious study. To start with, they're better at goals. They're better at setting them, working toward them, and persisting amid setbacks. If a super ambitious goal can't be realized, the conscientious employee will switch to a more attainable one rather than getting discouraged and giving up. As a result, they tend to achieve goals that are consistent with what employers want. Roberts also owes their success to hygiene factors. Conscientious people have a tendency to organize their lives well. A disorganized, unconscientious person might lose 20 or 30 minutes rooting through their files to find the right document. An inefficient experience, 
conscientious folks tend to avoid. Basically, by being conscientious, people sidestep stress they'd otherwise create for themselves. Being conscientious is like brushing your teeth. It prevents problems from arising. To spot conscientious people at work, take a look at things like punctuality. If someone shows up on time, that's a great clue towards conscientiousness, since a punctual person has to be organized enough and care enough to arrive on time. The bigger and less visible indicator is how people deal with setbacks. Do they give up or redouble their efforts? Again, conscientious people have an ability to overcome failure and setbacks. The conscientious person is going to have a plan, and even if there is a failure, they're going to have a plan to deal with that failure. They're not going to give up as readily as others. And finally, conscientious people are generally positive and encouraging, and these are the people that you want as employees on your team. Thank you for listening. And again, if you have any questions or concerns or want to talk with me, please feel free to email me or call me at the number listed on this last screen. Thanks a lot.